in short a mean filter is used to reduce noise and it is used to smooth, smooth an image and um, in this method each pixel value in an image is replaced with the average of its neighboring pixels so we will see uh, this uh, and it is performed by convolu convolution with a window or a kernel this window is actually called the sliding window um, and uh, 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 this window looks like this one shown below and next we will see what is median filter median filter is uh, used to reduce noise again and it is one of the non-linear digital filtering type and uh, it uh, removes noise in such a way like it preserves the edges uh, properly and uh, first we will look into a uh, mean filter uh, with an um, example it's like uh, how a, um, a convolution is performed we have two windows here which is uh, a kernel and then um, image uh, let's uh, uh, let's take this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, and that's 3 cross 3 matrix, and consider this as an image. And we have a kernel like this, and uh, the uh, window, the kernel is actually placed on the center pixel, uh, considering the first pixel as the center pixel, first pixel of the image as the center pixel, and then the window is placed like this. Uh, we can see here that uh, the row one, uh, row 1 and column 1 which is highlighted here uh, in red is actually does, uh, doesn't have any values um, uh, um, like uh, here we have multiplied uh, one, 1 with 1 and 1 with 2 and 1 with 4 and 1 with 5 here because the, that particular part of the window coincides with the um, image here the rest of the uh, ones that is rows and columns doesn't coincide so what happens is we don't have any values there so that what we are going to do here is take uh, this all these values to be one so uh, the window now looks like this that is one cross one one uh, like uh, one cross one one cross one one cross one one cross one and one cross two and one cross one one cross four and one cross five so it's just like multiplying uh, 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 additional value one in that row and column which was not having any values on that side because theoretically speaking, uh, we don't have any values there. So when we see it in practical, we'll see why we take that uh, one or any other values. Uh, so first we place this uh, kernel in such a way that the center pixel of the kernel actually matches with the pixel uh, where the mean operation is performed. So we, in each, in each pixel of the image, uh, starting from the first pixel to the last pixel, we will have to perform um, a mean operation. So that pixel becomes a center pixel. Now uh, let's consider uh, in uh, this particular uh, pixel that is the first pixel. Uh, now we are going to perform mean operation to find the new pixel. Now we can see that um, here we have uh, one cross one plus one cross one plus one cross one one plus one cross one and plus one cross one and one cross two plus one cross one and again one cross. Four and one cross by which will result in one plus one plus one plus one um, again plus two plus one plus four and plus five so what happens finally when we add these together we get 17 and 17 divided by 9 gives you 1.8 and if we seal this value this becomes 2 next what happens is uh, we have a pixel a new pixel 2 that is now the windows uh, move that uh, that's why it is called sliding window it's uh, now sliding and it is moved horizontally and now it, the center pixel uh, that is it is uh, the mean operation is performed to, to the second pixel and that becomes the center pixel and now what happens is again we perform mean operation and we get 2.6 as a value and we seal and we get 3 and again it moves to the third pixel and again we get the new th uh, third uh, pixel and again we get the value as 2.3 so we will have to perform this operation for the entire pixel uh, um, in the image and then the complete mean operation is performed or a median operation is performed. Uh, we will see how this is ha happening um, in um, practical that is using an Octave software. So now um, here what happens is let me show you a simple example. I, uh, I have a matrix here that is uh, the case which was shown um, before uh, we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 uh, that is here so this is going to be a 3 cross 3 matrix and now um, let's uh, see the output here and uh, let me explain the second line the second line is going to pad once 
uh, the padding ones uh, will look like what what I sh showed you bef uh, before. It's like uh, one getting uh, multiplied with one. So we get that window. And um, next is uh, we have uh, trying to get the size of the uh, padded image. Uh, sorry, the padded matrix. And then we, we are using it to perform mean operation. Let's uh, run this uh, script. Now, as shown, uh, like after execution, we can see that we have the matrix that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I have padded uh, once up, um, on all the sites. So you can see once all the sites, uh, like we have uh, uh, horizontal rows with ones and columns with the on, uh, on either side of the matrix. Now we can see that we can select the uh, sub matrix like we perform an indexing. So we can uh, select this particular matrix that is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, 5. That uh, because we have the kernel to be all 1, we can just take this matrix and perform in operation. So we have selected this particular matrix that is here and then we get uh, all um, the values and we are performing mean operation and that gives us 1.8 which was uh, which was also discussed before and then after seeing we get new matrix uh, of size 3 cross 3 that is uh, if it is an image it is going to be a uh, new image and uh, the seal value is actually placed here and uh, that is 2 and next again we select the second matrix so we get this matrix that is 1 1 1 1 2 3 uh, uh, 4, 5, uh, 6 that is uh, here and then again we take the mean of that and we get 2.6 and then that is replaced in the new matrix again we perform uh, for the third pixel also and uh, that is actually the third matrix and we are uh, getting the 2.3 and again we are making a seal of that val uh, value and then uh, we get 2, 3 and 3 and we will have to perform for every uh, individual pixel so it is uh, here we have only 3 uh, three cross 3, 9 elements we will have to perform for all the 9 elements and finally we get the replaced uh, uh, the new uh, uh, matrix to be like this that is 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4, 5, 4 so if this is performed in the image we can see what is happening so let's see what is happening now um, it is now uh, I have an image here that is a uh, lena image which is actually used for image processing and i have added a noise if you want to add noise you can use im noise function and uh, be sure when you use octave we'll have to use this particular line that is package load image to load the image uh, processing toolbox uh, which we use in matlab similar to that we have the image package which has to be um, loaded and then we can write the script here and while uh, you while uh, you're running the same script in MATLAB, you don't need to use this particular line, and uh, you can remove it. And uh, now let's uh, see uh, what has happening. Like I'm reading the uh, image, of, and I have the image in the current directory, so that is noisy lina dot png. And now uh, I'm going to sh uh, sh show it. That is, we are going to see it, and then. We are, we are using a pad array function this is also available in matlab and octave uh, this will actually replicate the same number that is one two three will be replicated on horizontal side and again the column of matrix will be replicated and you get instead of once it gets replicated the matrix itself will get replicated and we get a, a new matrix and where we are performing the mean operation and this particular uh, uh, loop of uh, the nested for loop uh, will uh, perform the mean operation and uh, let's see what is the output when we run this code so you can see this is our image with uh, uh, the in, in the default image which uh, has uh, noise that is salt paper noise and then after performing mean operation you can see the image got blurred so uh, the, uh, when uh, an averaging is performed that is mean operation is performed you can see the image gets blurred and some, somewhat the noise is removed but uh, it is not uh, it is not removed very well uh, let's see if it performs good in median operation so what i'm going to do is comment this and then run this uh, and comment this line and now this is going to give you uh, median uh, filter so what i'm going to do is run it and the script and let's see what is the output
now you can see here uh, applying median filter actually uh, preserves some detail and uh, it is able to remove the noise completely so um, mostly uh, for no uh, there are many types of noise and median uh, medium filter is good for removing salt and pepper noise and um, uh, we can just um, run the script and uh, execute each and every uh, line and see what is happening uh, so that we can understand what does this mean and medium filter and, uh, and next if you want to save this image you can use this function here C is the output image then Lena noise remote just a file name dot png what happens is if you run the script you can see a file is created here in the current directory that is lena noise remote that is this image, th this is an image with uh, noise and the uh, image which is noise removed and that is being saved here in the current directory. So this is what I wanted to tell you in this video. We will meet in another video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.